WoW's dying. WoW's going to die. Asmogold will finally stop playing. Um, I Okay, so this is the other thing that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, is I wanted to talk about the reason why I uh, the reason why I play World of Warcraft, and I think this has been something that a lot of people have brought up, and it's been a conversation topic for a long time, really, because I'm a person who's been very critical of the game over the years, and people are wondering why do I still play the game. I wanted to make a video about this and just kind of I guess get my thoughts together because there's been a lot of people, and this has been been a uh, point of contention not even a point of contention but it's been something that people have brought up over the years people say final fantasy people weird as fuck why ever play that no 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 uh, wow people and final fantasy people are in my opinion they're both their own version of stupid like zealots are stupid like video game cultists are stupid this is not something special about Final Fantasy players. Oh, wow, they're so bad. WoW players aren't like this. No, WoW players are just like this too. It's just in another way. That's all. Yeah, it's just in another way. And uh, anyway, I, I love Final Fantasy. I, 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 I mean, I would probably be playing more of it right now if I had actually finished the MSQ. But I'm waiting on my mainstream to finish the MSQ and to be honest, there's not a lot of content that I'm interested in. I What I love about Final Fantasy is I love the side activities, things like Palace of the Dead, uh, things like the Beast Tribes, you know, little, uh, you know, events, reputations to farm, etc. Uh, these are things that I enjoy. And um, the reality is that if you just finished Heaven's Ward, there aren't as many of those activities as if you had finished Endwalker. And that's just the truth. So whenever I finish everything else and I have more freedom to do more things, uh, I will go and do those things. So it's just that simple. I'm time gating myself. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of like why I actually do play WoW and um, some of the reasons why I'm okay with WoW and why I keep logging on uh, despite there being problems with the game that I don't like. Now, I think that there's a, obviously, like, this is going to be a, a lot. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things here. But the main thing that I'm going to be talking about is something that is actually just as simple as this. It's just fun. Uh, I like playing the game. Uh, it's a good way for me to spend my time. It's familiar. It's comfortable. It's fun. And it's relaxing. It's something that I come home to, and by come home to, I mean go from my bedroom to my computer room and get on to. And uh, I play it, and I enjoy it. It's really just that simple. Uh, there's not really a lot of other thought into it. There's not a lot of other emotion into it. It's not like I play the game because... Uh, my mom and I used to play the game. There's no like hidden latent emotional connection in that way that I'm trying to hide or hold on to. Uh, but whenever I play this game, I enjoy it because I've played it for many years. I like the way it plays. I like spending time in the game and I have fun with it. It's the same as, you know, whenever I played New World. Uh, I like New World in the same way. It's the same reason I like the Gold Saucer in Final Fantasy. I just like it. it, it it's, it's cheerful, it's peaceful, it's enjoyable, and it's relaxing. And for me, a lot of times, that's what, I, that's what I want. I just want to be able to log on and do something that's really low lift. I'm talking about farming out FAMU, the mount from FAMU or doing Mechagon runs, or farming out a cloak from a dungeon, from a random boss. Like, this is just something that's relaxing, it's chill to do, and the fact is that really whenever I'm playing this game, the majority of the time that I'm playing it is really whenever I'm on stream. I'm sitting here with you guys, and one other reason is that there's a very good thing that somebody said very accurate many years ago that world of warcraft is just chatting with buttons and that's what it's always been for me it's always just been just chatting with buttons uh, i sit here i play the game and i get into the game it's great 
and I can talk with you guys and have conversations that are more complex, that I gain fulfillment through talking about these things with the chat. I really enjoy it. That's why I stay up till five in the morning sometimes doing it. That's why I would kill my sleep schedule over and over and over, staying up late on stream. It's because it's something that I enjoy. And the reason why I do it in WoW is because it's a game that I don't really have to think about a lot and I can just play on autopilot. It's the same reason why I did it a lot with New World. Whenever I go to play Final Fantasy, I'm not as familiar with a game like that. Whenever I go to play Apex Legends, I'm very familiar with a game like that, but I'm not very fucking good at it. So I'm constantly fixated on that. That's why I don't really sit here and do arena all day on stream, because I a lot of times come on stream just to talk to you guys for the social interaction. Uh, it, that's my parasocial element of my stream. Uh, I like it. I enjoy it. That's something that I always got a lot out of over the years of streaming, is being able to go live and talk to an audience of people, of like-minded people, and have conversations that I want to have. And that's a big reason why I play the game too. That's why I stream the game, etc. And the reason why I stick with it, regardless of storm mounts or something like that, is really just as simple as I don't really care that much. I, it, it's as simple like it's a pros and cons list or like a you know a weights, uh, you know like the hands of justice or something like that. Or if you're a Final Fantasy Andy, like Sophia Extreme, um, there's just more weights on one side. And even though there's a couple of meteors on the other side, like store mounts and uh, fucking some CC rotations in this game that piss me off, I still have more positives than negatives with playing the game. And I also want to say that I don't always play well. And I want to show you some of the other games that I've played over the years. Slash played? Yeah, I'll show my WoW played in just a bit, right? Uh, but just give me one second. My WoW played is a lot. It's a lot more than a thousand hours. So you'll see that for sure. Asma's a bit of a hypocrite in his recent video. You know, so this is pretty much the, um, uh, this is the best, I think, summary of criticism against me. A hypocrite is spelled wrong. There we go. This is probably going to get blasted with downvotes, but I don't care about Reddit good boy points. So in Asmon's recent video, in which he's discussing storm mounts and how he's done caring about it, he said that if 70% of the player base said they would cancel their sub because of the storm mounts and they actually followed through, Blizzard would remove cash store the following day, which is something that I agree with. But storm mounts have been a thing for 10 years in WoW, and though Asmon has been against it since day one, over those same 10 years, even though WoW went further against his beliefs and became more and more greedy, Asmon was always subbed giving Blizzard a ton of money, ton of his money, it's actually not true, another inaccuracy, it was my dad's money, and made a streaming YouTube career out of the game, uh, so even though he hates the current practices made by Blizzard, uh, which make him more upset in the long scheme of things, he's done a lot more to promote WoW over the years, make a stand over something he hates in the last 10 years, uh, they didn't always deserve in a recent memory and don't deserve any. Uh, I know obviously uh, would never expect 70% of the player base to quit, but it's a bit hypocritical because something drastic like that is exactly the type of thing that would make Blizzard drop store mounts and the ever-increasing items available in the cash shop. Yet, Asmon never took any drastic measure on that scale. Well, how could I make 70 per... If I thought that I could make 70... I, but I, I can't make 70% of the player base quit. It never took any drastic measure on that scale that would cause a reaction, so it's really not a surprise that his effect to hurt Blizzard's profit were minimal, and overall his personality has probably made Blizzard get a lot of money, even though Asmon probably doesn't think they deserve it, since they are literally ruining his all-time favorite game and have demoralized him to this state. Uh, let's see, what are we posting on today? R slash Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. I think we can get Asmon to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Batman vs. Superman is one of the dumbest movies I've seen. Okay, that's something that we can agree on. True. Um, Final Fantasy again. Uh, these are the comments, uh, and this is the... This is a criticism that is, in my opinion, 
this is him not happy that I'm playing World of Warcraft. So he's not looking at me being a hypocrite. He's looking at the fact that I, do, I am playing a game that he does not like, and he's working backwards to invalidate why I'm doing that. You see what I'm saying? Because this is, a, uh, this is an illogical conclusion that he's coming to, and I'm going to explain why. I never expect 70% of the player base to quit, but it's a bit hypocritical because something drastic like that is exactly the type of thing like Blizzard drop storm mounts. Yet Asmon never took any drastic measure on that scale. The implication of this is that I could make 70% of the player base quit the game. Which, listen, I have a big ego, but it's not that big. I can't do that. Yep, I can't do that. Uh, you tried start slash spit, but so of course you tried something at scale, didn't work. Yeah, I think that's true too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what about leading by example? If they say uh, release a storm out after no content, uh, leading by example. Let me read some of the comments and then I'm going to explain why. Uh, As it reminds me of the boomer who constantly complains about his wife, he still loves her even though he's a completely different woman now. Yeah, I, I mean, again, I've made that analogy 50 times. Uh, remaining 30% would be whales and boys probably wouldn't give a fuck. No, they definitely would. Um, I, I think so. A problem isn't Stormont's problem is to put so much effort into it. Yeah, of course. It's like only fans be up for the opportunity to pay more for the stuff you're actually looking for. If this extreme thing that won't happen actually happened, then this would happen, yes. Well, the extreme thing didn't happen, and you are part of the reason why, somewhat. You are a hypocrite because the extreme hypothetical did not happen. Well, that's the thing. He never did that extreme thing, which would give his cause an actual chance. Obviously, no one blames him for Stormount's existing, but there's some hypocrisy here uh, because he never really did anything that would make Blizzard remove them. My problem is him not putting his money where his mouth is, even though there's a huge problem not only for his all-time favorite game, but for the entire gaming industry. Do you want to know why that I don't do it? And, and because this is a post that's gotten a number of upvotes on my Reddit, and this is a comment in my community, I see this regularly, uh, I'm going to respond. It's because I'm going to lose. I know I will lose. You know I will lose. I don't have enough influence. I can't do it. And not only can I not do it, but the act of failing at it strengthens storm mounts. Ironically, it's a lot like this. This person came on and they lost and they weakened the entire movement. And I would do the same thing. I know when I'll win and I know when I'll lose. I'll lose. That's, that's why. And I will lose and I will end up, I will look like a fool and other people that don't care about it will make fun of me and laugh at me and it will weaken everybody else who dislikes it. That's why. If I thought I could do it and win, I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Yeah, pick your battles. I can't win this one. Now, if, if there is a way, uh, like for example, uh, do you remember whenever New World had that thing happen with like the store and then I wrote that big long twit longer post and then they put the uh, uh, the information in the store about how they're not going to sell anything until like way after launch. Uh, I feel like that was in part uh, an outcome of the videos and the content that I made about it that was negative. It worked. That's why I did it. I know what's a W and I know what's an L. Maybe in the future it won't be. But for now it is. There's no L's bros, but delayed W's. Yeah. And a, um, a hasty W can sometimes turn into a definitive L. And also, I want to say that I decided to move over to play Final Fantasy. And um, in the process of that, Blizzard... I, I mean, like, I don't think this was me exclusively... There were hundreds of other content creators, whenever you really think about it, who were WoW content creators or other content creators who then moved over to Final Fantasy at about the same time that I did. Some before, like Rich and, and Matt and Bellure, right? Matt's the guy on Bellure's show. Uh, and many of those other people did. And all of us collectively 
created enough of a movement to cause Blizzard to walk back a lot of player-unfriendly systems like Conduit Energy and not being able to switch your Covenants. So, again, that's a W. I think a lot of people forget about the Ws because there are times that I think I can win. I can actually make an impact. I can make a change here. I can I can do this, and I do it, and I, I, I win. I do it. And I think also the slash spit thing, yes, Blizzard ultimately won. But to a certain degree, we won because they had to change it. I thought it would work. It did. Because they changed it. Classes are still fucked up. Look, they've been fucked up for 15 years. That's not on me, okay? Let's be honest. So that's all I'm really trying to say. Uh, many did so to capitalize on a trend. Yeah, but do you really think that I wasn't a big indicator of that trend? It's the most monumental impossibility of all time. It's like trying to defy physics IRL. It's not happening. Oh, with removing storm mounts? No, uh, it would be very easy to remove storm mounts if you had enough people that wanted to do it. You would just, everybody would unsub that week and say, hey, we're unsubbing because of storm mounts. We don't like them anymore. And if there's any more storm mounts, we're all going to quit. And then Blizzard would get rid of them and then people would come back and it would be fine. But people don't have that level of collective bargaining because they can never agree on anything. Uh, so it's never going to happen. Now, I know it won't happen, and that's why I don't engage with it or indulge it. Uh, I take points where I know that I can use my influence to make a difference, and I do. Uh, but there are other times where I can't use my influence and I can't make a difference, and I don't do it. Because I realize that whenever I do it and I fail, it actually strengthens the opposite position because it shows that you're weak. This is like a, a dumb comment trying to pretend as if this is like an intellectual criticism. Uh, this is a person who cannot spell hypocrite. Cannot spell hypocrite. I mean, come on. Uh, who cares about the spelling? Well, because spelling is usually an indicator of, uh, uh, of intelligence. Uh, I think in a big way online, I think it, I, like, I, like writing on a sheet of paper, I know it's not. But if you can't right click a word that has a red squiggly underneath it and then change it to the word that it's supposed to be, you are an idiot. Yeah, that's all it comes down to. You are a fucking idiot. So uh, for many months, I did not play WoW at all. That's why I've had to play catch up so much on this season, getting all of my gear again. It's because I didn't play the game at all. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of these games that I played over the years, and I'll show you how much time that I put into them. Dark Souls 2, 84 hours. Dark Souls 3, 200 hours. Dark Souls 1, 366 hours. Fall Guys, 35 hours. Hades, 40 hours almost. Uh, Jump King, only two hours on that one. Uh, let's see here. New World, um, 974 hours. Add that with 11 hours and 300 hours from the PTR from last year, and you're looking at 1,200 hours. And I played the game a lot. Uh, Lost Ark Tech Beta, didn't really play it a lot. I played it eight hours. Uh, you thought that was a lot? PUBG, 865 hours in PUBG. I played every single day. Uh, Rust, 148 hours, 58 hours. Sekiro, 33 hours. Valheim, 240 hours. I've played a lot of other games over the years. And I, uh, enjoy, I enjoy other games. And these are just the games that are on Steam. It's not counting Apex Legends. And uh, it's also not counting Warzone. I put many hours into Warzone. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other games that I play instead of WoW, and it's not like I only play WoW, but I come back to WoW because, again, it's comfortable, relaxing, easy for me to play, and it's a great stream game because I can play it on autopilot and have conversations with the chat in a way that I'm very comfortable with because of my familiarity with the game. Uh, that's the main reason why I play World of Warcraft. Uh, there are a lot of negatives with the game that I really don't like, but I still find enough positives to give me enough reason to keep logging on. And I think a really good example of another game like that is actually PUBG. PUBG was probably one of the worst, most unoptimized pieces of buggy fucking garbage in 2017. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. 
And you know what? We all fucking played it. The game was bad, but it's what everybody still wanted to play. It's the same thing as, uh, as WoW for me. I think so. PUBG fell off hard? No, it didn't. Uh, not in China. It's so massive in China, it's ridiculous. So, uh, with WoW, do you guys want to see all of my characters combined? This is not counting. This is not counting my classic WoW character. This is just retail WoW. You guys ready? 1,463 days. 35,000 hours. Yep. I still suck. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but yeah, anyway, look, what I'm saying is that um, uh, I played the game a lot. Yeah, I've, I've played the game a lot. Absolutely. And I don't regret any of it because I had fun playing it. For most of my time, I have enjoyed my time playing WoW. And I don't regret any of the time that I spent doing it, except for maybe farming a couple of achievements that I fucking hated. That's about it. Uh, that's basically why I, I play World of Warcraft. It's not any more complex than that. So hopefully that uh, answers the question that a lot of people have. And uh, the, you know, a lot of people might not really make sense to them. Uh, is that while the game has a lot of negatives, for me it has also a lot of positives. And it has more positives than negatives. And um, also it's very good to just play as a background stream game. There it is.